it's straight up horror. It's straight up horror. I'm very specific about my horror because I don't like gruesome horror. Yeah, parts of it are terribly gruesome. Okay, and it just gets. I am going to go see that Jim Jarmusch zombie movie though. Uh, How can I not? I, I I don't even I wouldn't even classify that as horror. It's like <laughs> it's like it's almost more like a, a, a an, an Edgar Wright uh, you know Shaun of the Dead kind of thing. It's like um, bad comparison, but it's like. Or what we do in the shadows. Yeah. Not even that. It's like um, a Linklater movie, but with zombies. <laughs> but that's a bad comparison because Jarmish is clearly his own thing. Oh, yeah. But but that cast, though. I know. Bill Murray, Tom Waits, Iggy Pop. Uh, 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 yeah. Those are just the ones I can remember. Yeah. And, it's not, and I think it's funny that people are... Well, it's not like oh, and what's his name? Uh, 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 Kylo Ren. Oh, Adam Driver. Yeah, and it's not like Murray hasn't played like a zombie before. I really well, like te- Zombie Land. Well, technically, he wasn't a zombie. He was not. <laughs> they just killed Bill Murray. Oh. And you know uh, who killed Bill Murray? Emma fucking Stone. <laughs> if anybody's gonna do it, and if anybody's gonna be like. Kill Bill Murray. It's going to be Woody Harrelson. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually, I haven't seen it. I might not have seen that since the theater, but I, I love that movie. I thought that was a great film. I think it's they're making a sequel, and it's this far removed from it. That was like a good ten years ago, right? Yeah, but it's streaming everywhere, dude. Someone's going to like come across it. Yeah, they keep talking about making another Austin Powers. Really? Yeah. But they went downhill so quickly. I don't think I've even seen Goldmember. That Gold was the last one, right? Yeah. yeah. Goldmember is good for the first and last 15 minutes. <clears throat> That's the one that has Michael Caine in it, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Haven't seen it. Uh, Goldmember isn't bad. Just... Actually, I don't know if I've seen... Okay, so Goldmember is also the one that has Beyonce, right? Yeah. Okay, so I've seen, I've seen the original. I've seen Spy Who Shagged Me. You haven't? Oh, you've seen Spy Who Shagged? Yeah, I have. Yeah, and you've seen the original. Yeah, I've seen the original. You've just not seen Goldmember. I have not seen Goldmember. Okay. I don't know. It seems like Mike Myers ought to either just do some more serious stuff or just quit. He, uh, I like. I actually watched the Gong Show because of him. The Gong Show. Yeah. So they brought that back. Uh, yeah. So I'm a I'm a huge Mike Myers fan. Okay. I. Um, I, there's some. I have some beloved Mike Myers films. I think so. I made an axe murder is fantastic. Oh my film. gosh! It's like head pants new. <laughs> it's like Sputnik. <laughs> He's gonna cry his big pit. <laughs> yes. Uh, um. Plus, I just like uh, Brenda Fricker as his mom. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um. And it's one of the few things you can like Nancy Travis in too. <laughs> Yeah, I, I can't think of a movie. Well, I haven't seen like I haven't seen her a lot lately. Yeah, but I, obviously Wayne's World, Wayne's World Two, sure. Wayne's World Two, of course, not as good as Wayne's World right. One, but it has some good moments. And then, so I Mary X Murder is pretty much I think that's, that's Peak Myers. Peak Myers. Yeah, um, I like him in Mystery Alaska. He's like a commentator. I don't think I've seen that one. That's the uh, hockey one. Yeah, Russell, uh, Russell Crowe's Crow. in it. Yeah. Oh, I think the first Austin Powers is pretty good. Yeah. And I like all the Austin Powers ones just because, A, it's so the clearly... Pastiche. Well, I mean, it's so clearly, like, a love letter to Bond. Yeah. And it's also to the 60s version of Casino Royale. Oh, yeah. Um, Very much so. And, David Niven and all that, yeah. And then... And it has Elvis Costello. Yes. Um, on a bus with Burt Backrack. Backrack. Yeah. <laughs> um, so there's all that. And then I mean, he kind of went goofy for a while. I don't The Guru? I didn't see. I, I've seen Love Guru. I, I haven't watched it since it first came out. He I tried to go serious. He did uh, Studio 54. He's okay in that. Yeah. The movie itself is not, not great. Not yeah. good because and that has nothing to do with him. Right. Has to do with the script, Harvey Weinstein. Uh, it's also like he doesn't really need to do anything though. 
He should be choosy about what he does. He should be. But, well, I think he is. I think, but I think what people have said about him is that he is very passionate. Oh, okay. And, and things that have to be his way. Sure. So that's why Shrek has a Scottish accent. Uh, is because he felt like this is like, I can make him sound like me, but it's not going to make him any. So he insisted that he has a Scottish accent. Yeah. I don't like, I haven't watched the love guru. I don't remember kind of like going, well, it wasn't that bad. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Um, But he kind of has been popping up here and there, like in, in glorious bastards. And, but he did a, like a revival of the, um, of the gong show. Okay. And he isn't playing Mike Myers. He's playing like this, really bad British TV host. <laughs> okay. Um, and that's the gag. Is it, It's meh. Like, you know it's Mike Myers. Okay. But he's playing like this character who supposedly is... Like, he's playing a character who's introducing these really people doing really gross shit. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. And the panel is all in on the joke. Okay. Uh, and the panel is usually like Will Arnett, Kim, uh, Ken Jong, your 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 C list celebrities who will do anything for money. Sure. Um, and I think Will Arnett produced it. And I know he's he's did uh, that Supermensch documentary. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I really liked. Um, because um, you get to learn more about who Alice Cooper is. Right. I, I think he's sort of mounting a comeback. They might. They talk about doing another Austin Powers. Mm -hmm. They talk about doing another Wayne's World. He just needs to do something different at this point. Mm -hmm. He needs to come back not on an old franchise. Yeah. But. That was. That was. That was was the Myers digression with Jason and Jerry. Yes. (laughs) Um, So if you're doing a podcast about the films of Mike Myers, other podcasters, have me on. uh Have a good conversation. (laughs) Can we call it Oscar Myers? <laughs> <laughs> oh. And we're done, folks. That's it. <laughs> no, but we should we should start to wrap it up. So yes. was there was there anything else in in Endgame with regards to the good place that you thought we should talk about? Well, I mean there's like as we mentioned before, there are People doing sacrifices. Like, what do we owe each other? Yes. Yeah. And that's your... There's a lot of philosophy to it. I, th- I feel like there's more nihilism to it, though. Mm-hmm. There's a lot. It's not, you know, say what you will about the tenets of the bad place, but at least it's an ethos. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Thanos clearly believes in nothing. Yeah. Thanos is like, I snap my fingers... Half the population is gone. I don't care which half. Well, it's funny is that in Infinity War, I mean, he does have that Doug Forsett, like, this is my plan. Mm-hmm. I'm going to execute it. Um, I believe in the system. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's br- – and th- th- he thinks it's brilliant because it's random. Mm-hmm. And I think you kind of – it makes him almost sympathetic. Sure. Um, to some degree. To some degree. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Whereas clearly in this one he realizes, God, that was a really dumb idea eliminating <laughs> half of you. Yeah. You think like you all be grateful for what I did and he goes like, Well, I'm just gonna kill all, I guess. And then bring back some people who have no idea what I did. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So and none of them will know. Yep. So so he's obviously gonna give everyone the whole earth a reboot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Yep. So because yeah. he realized that the first plan didn't work, mm-hmm. <laughs> so we're going to snap it and reboot it again. Yep. And um, they take him down. Yep. Uh, I, so we got a lot of sacrifices. We mentioned that. And mm-hmm. we, the reboots. The only other thing that... Um, it's a big trolling problem in yeah. this movie, too. Um, the only other thing that bugged me about the movie that had nothing to do with Good Place mm-hmm. <laughs> whatsoever... <laughs> was Captain Marvel is not in it like no more than maybe twenty minutes. It seems ago. like she should be in it more. 
It does seem like it, but they also had real limitations. They were obviously paying service to people who were leaving. Yeah. Who weren't going to come back. And Captain Marvel was coming back. We know Doctor Strange is coming back. You know, even Ant-Man didn't get a ton of time, and we know he's coming back. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we know there's going to be more Spider-Man. Yeah. So they really focused on the people who were going away. Mm. They focused on Robert Downey Jr. They focused on Chris Evans. They focused on on uh, Chris Hemsworth. They focused mm. on... Oh, uh, that's the other thing. There's a Hemsworth brother. <laughs> in the movie? No. Well, in the movie... The oh, well, no, Chris. Comp- yes, Com- and comparing to, yeah. But yes. there's the Hemsworth brother in Good Place. Yes, the less successful. Like the fourth one. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, the Tahani equivalent of the of the uh, Hemsworths. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it just, um, yeah, I wish there, and from what I understood, they filmed um, Brie Larson's parts for Avengers Endgame before she even started filming Captain Marvel. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Interesting. So I'm like, obviously there's like a time crunch. Well, did they come back and 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 film the haircut parts later? Who's to say? I don't know. Um, there, I, there's a lot of stuff I like. I, you know, I'm sure I will figure out its flaws the more distance I have from it. Um, but it was a it was a pretty spot on movie, and yeah. to tackle what it did, it was pretty impressive. I thought. I thought so too. So I, having seen it the second time, I thought the only flaws I saw were a there was um, not enough Captain Marvel and the um, and the time travel just seemed a little dicey. <laughs> It, it was dicey. There should have been more change in the future. Mm-hmm. I mean, they did some serious, they did some serious uh, messing around in the past. Yeah. And despite what they said, I subscribe to that philosophy of time travel. That if you mess around in the past, like if you step on a butterfly, your your days are numbered mm-hmm. <laughs> in the future. So, and also Robert Redford's not final was. It was supposed to be the old man and the gun, and he was in this. It was nice to see him. It was like, oh, hey, it's Robert Redford. He's back. Mm-hmm. So I, I'm a huge Robert Redford fan. As you should be. As, as far as like the that era of filmmaking, he and Paul Newman are just like at the top of my list. But mm-hmm. you know, I agree. I, Paul Newman, especially seventies Paul Newman. Oh yeah. Um, well, and even some later Paul Newman, for instance, Hudsucker Proxy. Yes. I was going to say Hudsucker Proxy, but there's also the fucking verdict. The verdict, yeah. Um, there's, I like Nobody's Fool. Yeah. And yeah, I have felt Seymour Hoffman. Yeah. And Bruce Willis. And, yeah. Um, but uh, he was um, in that movie Blaze with the stripper. Oh, color of money. Oh, I mean, color money. Good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but like but also the uh, the the sting. Yeah. Uh, cool Hand Luke, uh, Butch Cassidy. You know, with featuring both Redford and Newman, and well, Sting also did. But um, yeah, that man, that man had a presence. Have you ever had seen Slap a Shot? presence? Uh, I've seen it on the shelf somewhere. I've not watched it. Okay. Not a big hockey movie guy, it, the, or a sports movie guy in general, I guess. It's um, but you like um, you've seen like Major League and stuff, right? I've seen Major League, yeah, yeah. and you like Major League, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think of this as like um, hockey's version of Major League, but like really crude and funny. Well, and that would have come out years before Major League. Too. Yeah, yeah. Major Long League time. definitely took a few pages from the slap shot book. Okay, okay I, I would recommend it. Even to to people who don't like sports movies or sports. I actually like going and watching hockey. So. But, uh, yeah. All right. Cool beans, man. So, again, we're going to take a week break. And I believe when we come back, we're doing Defending Your Life. I think so. The Albert, Albert Brooks classic, Meryl mm-hmm. Streep, Rip Torn. Fucking great movie. So, if you're listening to this now and you've never seen the film... Before we talk about it in two weeks, 
rent, watch, buy something to f-